Hey guys, what's going on? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel and uh, we're going to take a little bit of a departure from my usual firearms reviews. We're going to take a look at something different today. Uh, what we have here is the Browning Trapper Creek Shooting Vest. Um, I purchased this vest because I'm going to be getting into a summer trap shooting league and I am a complete trap, skeet, and uh, sporting clays noob. I'm, I'm completely new to the sport. I do understand firearms. I do understand shot shells. So I'm learning quite a bit about it. So you guys are going to be joining me on this journey. Uh, this particular vest, I think it's going to be great for summertime use. It's made out of a poly mesh material. It's got lots of pockets, which, you know, you can take all of your gear and stuff with you out to the field when you go out there. I think it's going to be great for any kind of uh, upland game bird hunting. And I paid $49.99 for it, which is pretty much par for the course for this vest. I bought it at a local Shield sporting goods store. And if you go onto Amazon, I think it gets almost a five star review, four and a half stars, I think, out of 57 reviews. And it's basically the same price for a 2XL. I honestly can't tell you how big this goes. I think it goes up to a 3XL. Um, I am 5'11", around 235 pounds, and I found the 2XL vest, vest fit me just fine while I was wearing a hoodie in the store trying it on. So even with the t-shirt on, I know I'm going to have a little more space. Um, I also purchased the Reactar G3 gel pad. Now, my wife actually has this vest. She's a lefty, so she has a left-handed women's version of this, and it comes with a G2 pad. Well, she bought it with a G2 pad, so I kind of made a new mistake here. Um, the G3 pad is a little bit narrower and just a little bit shorter than the G2 pad. Well, this one is listed for taking the G2 pad, yet they make a Trapper Creek vest that takes the G3 pad. So, when you buy this vest, make sure you get the right pad for it. They didn't have a G2 pad in the store. So we're just going to use this anyway because it's going to fit. It's going to work just fine. And uh, let's just kind of check out some of the features and see what this uh, what this vest has to offer here. So like I said, you got yourself a poly mesh construction. It is machine washable. should not be a problem whatsoever. You got a, a cotton twill pocket that runs the entire length of the right-hand side for the right-handed shooter. You got some nice deep pockets where you can put your shells spent or otherwise okay they also expand out you can pop the button for a little more room if you need it you do have some expandable uh, sides here which is really nice okay if you need a little more room if you got the dad bod like me you know what I'm talking about uh, you got two pockets up in the front where you can put a couple spare shells uh, cell phone pocket or accessory pocket whatever you want to call it and uh, again inside real lightweight construction let's go ahead and check out the uh, the back of it here now and just to kind of give you a heads up, because my wife and I have recently moved, I'm not yet a member, but I'm currently getting ready to join the local Isaac Walton chapter. So I won't get a chance to actually test this, but I can at least show you what it looks like, talk about it a little bit, show off some of the materials, and just show you how the fit is overall, especially if you're going to buy one of these. The good thing is, you know, you can usually try these on in the store. Got the little browning logo on there where it's breaking up a, shooting up a sporting clay. By the way, in Nebraska, we call these blue rocks. We go blue rock shooting. So if you ever hear me say uh, blue rock instead of, you know, clay pigeon or skeet or whatever you call it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's kind of a weird thing we do here in Nebraska. But again, you got that open flap design, lots of room, lots of expandability. And it looks like mine is expanded pretty much all the way out. We'll expand this side over here and we'll try it on. We'll kind of see how it uh, works with a, uh, a shotgun just in terms of placement and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, let's try this on. Oh, and real quick, the reactor pads are 20 bucks on Amazon. I paid $24.99 in the sporting goods store for the G3 pad. Okay, so if you are anything bigger than 235 pounds and shorter than six foot tall, you might want to consider a 3XL. I mean, I got plenty of room going on here and I've got the straps on the side as wide as they can go and I got some space. Of course, I got the uh, you know, tactical muffin top going on here, which does kind of get things a little bit snug, but I mean, I'm not uncomfortable at all. I've got a good range of movement. I've got that G3 recoil pad, fits in here perfectly. Don't even notice it's a little bit shorter than the G2 pad. You can kind of see from the sides here. And you've also got your little utility pockets in the back, which are kind of nice. Uh, if you throw some gear back there, some spent holes, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do that also. Uh, but yeah, it does feel really nice. I got the two shells in the pocket right up here in the front, and it does have the uh, YKK zippers, which I like. Those are zippers that last a long time. Because for 50 bucks, you don't want to have to replace this every season. Uh, like I said before, my wife actually has this vest for a left-handed shooter. She's actually the trap shooter in the family. I'm not. Go figure. And this is her shotgun. This is just the Stover Youth model. I've got an over-under 12-gauge coming to my FFL, so I can't show that off right now. We'll be here soon. We are unloaded, by the way. And so if you take it down and draw, that... Uh, <clears throat> shoulder pad right here fits up perfectly with the buttstock and so it does align perfectly so that is really nice I like that so again that recoil pad it kind of distributes the recoil over the course over the area of your shoulder instead of having to concentrate into one small area uh, the pads are really handy and uh, she loves hers and so when she shoots she can shoot all day with the left-handed pad and not have any problems whatsoever some people said that the left-handed model does cost like 10 bucks more but um, I have not seen that at all so, yeah, I mean, $49.95 seems to be the price that I'm seeing everywhere for this vest. 
All right, so let's bring it back for just a few final comments and we'll wrap this one up. Okay, so final thoughts. You know, I recommend that you try this on in the sporting goods store and you get a chance just to make sure it's going to fit you. It would suck to have to return it. Um, you know, there's there's some cheaper options. I think they had, uh, I don't can't remember, like uh, Allen brand or something for $39.99. So you can save bucks, 10 bucks here or there. You can spend as much as you want. Uh, the other shooting vest that I have is an Upland Game Bird vest that's more for wintertime, solid fabric material, blaze orange and stuff like that. And uh, just looking at the good luck that my wife has had with uh, with her vest, you know, this is one of the reasons why I purchased this one. Hers is still intact and she's had it for probably six or seven years. Uh, so anyway, that's it, guys. That's my uh, my take on the Browning Trapper Creek uh, Black and Gray 2XL uh, shooting vest. And again, I hope you guys join me on my journey to get into shooting, um, trap shooting and skied and sporting clays and so on. I'm going to try to document that as much as I can on this YouTube channel as I get into it more, as it warms up more. So please like and subscribe. I want to thank all of you for watching right now. And make sure you check out my podcast called Caliber Corner, which we feature on Monday nights at 6 o'clock. Uh, over on YouTube, we talk firearms, different calibers, different shooting techniques, and so on. Make sure you check it out. Uh, please like and subscribe. I want you guys to have fun. I want you to be safe. And as you know, we will talk to you soon. Y'all take care and have a good day. All right, bye-bye.